Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You can see here we've got an iPhone 6 and more importantly we have got a quad lock bike kit and this is as you can see here from the picture on the front a phone case and mounting kit to obviously put this onto your bicycle as this is an unboxing I suppose I better give you the proper 360 and you can see generally as a broad overview here exactly how it's going to be attach it to the headset of your bike in the center of the handlebars and then obviously when the phone's in the case you can pop it there so you can see all your notifications or maps and things like that anyway I think that this is going to be fascinating I do like this little um, opening flap it's got a magnet concealed somewhere to keep it closed but yeah all good stuff We've also got the quad lock tripod adapter for the same uh, case, which we will have a look at in a separate video very quickly. So I'll put that to one side. Without further ado, let's get stuck in. Careful, careful. Ah, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. So if we pop this out now, you can see a very nice, neat package here. Well, that's looking absolutely lovely. That's a very good, sturdy looking case, it's got to be said. So, we'll have a closer look at it in a second. Then, a quad lock bike mount kit installation and use instructions. Pretty straightforward and simple, which we will have a look at actually getting it on the bike itself in just a moment. And here is the main mount part here. And here are various other inserts. Right then. I suppose just a quick closer look at the case itself you can see that this has got the uh, weatherproof sort of sheet over the top if we peel that off there's the case itself it feels very nice sort of soft rubber um, very nice I don't know if that is there that looks like it's a microfiber little liner on the inside my apologies for the random jump in the video here as I realised I hadn't actually said any words while I was fitting the case on. And it's got to be said that the case is extremely tight fitting as you would hope. And demonstrating here I've got every confidence of flinging it around and the phone not jumping out in those conditions. So yeah that definitely is a first very good impression. Then obviously you can see here we have got the uh, weatherproof case that you can obviously pop over. And again, it all fits nice and tightly. Obviously, that's not going to be completely waterproof, but the fact that it's got that lip over the top there and comes down over the back of the case slightly is definitely, obviously, all adding to its uh, potential uh, weather resistance. And you can, in fact, still use the screen. Well, that's fantastic. That's definitely something I wasn't expecting. Uh, yeah, right. First impressions of the case itself is that that's a good, solid, sturdy case. And I can definitely see myself uh, just using this as a case when I'm going out walking in the bad weather conditions. So we've got a series of O-rings and also some zip ties if we really wanted to use them to make it very secure. And they just pop over the nubs at the corners there. And this itself, if we come over to the bike, you can obviously attach to basically any rounded surface that you wish. Well, I've got to say, I'm incredibly impressed at just how solidly that's held on. And that's just with the O-rings rather than the cable ties. The lock mechanism itself, as you can see, built into the back of the case there. And all you have to do is just pop the phone on at a 45 degree angle. You'll feel it sort of slot into place and then twist and it's clicked in. To remove it, you simply, I don't know if I can get this in, but you basically just push that blue part down and then twist your phone off. But that is unbelievably steady and secure and as you can see please excuse my mother's uh, slippers in the background please adjust your eyes and look to the uh, more cycle related area of this video um but that is that's not looking too bad and it does actually look really cool i've got to say wow absolutely loving that right let's go out for a ride and i will share my final few thoughts brilliant stuff so I went out and did two bike rides over the evening, probably put in about 15 miles with the phone attached and I really am impressed. I can't believe first of all that it's so secure and well attached that I feel confident to actually use it and put an iPhone right there as you can see in the middle of my handlebars and then go out biking over bumpy roads and up and down curbs in town and so on. So it's definitely a big thumbs up from me and just for interest sake I did really enjoy having 
run keeper the app open and showing me my general times and average speeds and having the map displaying and it was just fascinating to see you can see this was one of my later in the evening uh, right and all in all I thought it was absolutely fantastic anyway I'll put a link in the description to this item check out my other videos there are tons of biking and fixie riding and all sorts coming and a review of this very bike that i'm about to record in just a second so thank you very much for watching feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos for loads more from the great outdoors and until the next time have a fantastic day and farewell